Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your MSFET GTR2 with Android and Zap app. So let's begin here immediately by opening the app. As you can see the QR code is already in the watch. We have three pages down below. At the third page we have our profile and you can see my devices press watch watch with QR code because we have a QR code here and now the QR code scanner opens up and now we have to uh, scan our QR code that we have in the watch give it a second and as you can see it says pairing now we should wait until they are paired you can see we have accept pairing res uh, request press ok and now as you can see it says pairing now it's paired pair successfully we have user guide and the watch is already usable so you can see it's very easy you have to scan just a QR code and you should be able to uh, connect your watch and use it with your phone and all the options will be available so as soon as you connect usually you will get an update and I'm skipping that you can see the watch now is connected Back to the first page, as you can see, we have our steps here. Statistic for steps, day, week, month, or year statistic. As you can see, we have total distance, total uh, time, and total calories, and a bunch of other information about steps here down below. Next, we have calories, as you can see, day, week, and month statistic. You can see we have calories, we have a fast walk or slow walk, whatever you use. I'm a fast walker, so you can see all of this is fast walk. Next, we have sleep data as you can see we have deep sleep awake time light sleep and all kinds of different uh, data about sleep that is not necessary to read but it's okay to have that we have now heart rate for today as you can see we have lower higher and we can actually uh, measure our heart rate from the phone next we have the stress as well day week month and year statistic you can see stress level, average, maximum, minimum, and all kinds of stuff. After that, we will find blood oxygen. You can see day, week, month, and year statistic. You can see maximum oxygen and minimum as well. The PAI, you can see I already achieved some of them. And I'm going to achieve them uh, these days. You can see this is the first page. We have the tools at the bottom. We don't have anything else here. At the second page, which is enjoy, we are starting with alarm clocks. We have here offline audio for the watch, voice control for offline. So you can see basic open, for example, heart rate, open something or start the workout, start the running, start walking, whatever you use, it will work. We have a voice control and this watch. As you can see next we have the shuttle, find device, watch face, in the watch face we have plenty plenty of watch faces as well as we can customize some of them and some of them we just can download it. You can see starting from the top we have customizable Halloween and we have with categories this green one it looks really good simple green I like simple things so let's go with this one let's uh, download it you can see first is synchronizing downloading it and after that it will be done you can see it's going very fast which is a really good thing and now we should wait until it's done and we will have a brand new watch face you can see successfully signed which is a good good sign to have here so it's very easy to change your face we have here France. My goal, you can see target for steps, weight, height, calories, and sleep. We have call via watch, which is a really good option. So you can connect your watch with Bluetooth. And this way, as you can see, like I'm doing, go to pair new device and you will find your watch. And now you can make phone calls and accept calls and talk in the watch, not in the phone. We have here app alerts, you can see it's sensing the data and now we get notifications from the 
phone to the watch we have vibrations we can change that and we have unlock screen as well at the third page we saw when we connect with this is the msfit gt r2 page we saw the faces that we downloaded we have notifications and reminder as well next after that we will find vibrations which we saw before that we can change these are all defaults health monitoring as you can see we have here activity detection heart rate all day stress and sleep breathing quality monitoring which is a new feature in this app we have we have here display and brightness which we control these from the watch but we can control these from the app as well which is a good thing to have after these you can see we have brightness auto screen off etc we have sound and vibrations as we can see the volume is all the way down so we can turn off the alert tone we have only the notifications with brightness and we have here offline audio again which we can allow a couple of these and after that we have the language as well next we have the app list manager shortcuts card settings app settings find watch discoverable activity hard rate sharing binding limits run in background system update about this device offline audio again and we have unpair at the bottom when we can unpair this watch and pair another one at more here we have customer satisfaction and we can do some survey here my goal as you we saw before this again my records we have a couple of records here friends as we saw again before add account we can add an account here as you can see with different uh, apps feedback smart analyze and the settings at the bottom so this is the zap app for msfit gtr2 and we will see the notification in just a couple of seconds so guys this was all for today's video i hope you find this video interesting and helpful if so hit the like button subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video with another smart device